Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a very quick Dutch pour and I have some colors in mind that don't really go together but I want to see how they play together in a Dutch pour. And I went ahead and put a white base coat down. It's kind of sloppy. There's a little bit too much paint and this canvas is pretty bowed. This is one of my 50 for $39.50 canvases from Jerry's Artorama. And most of the time, most of them are pretty decent. Sometimes they're very flimsy. And I forgot to spray this one on the back with water to tighten the canvas up. But since this is just an experiment to see how these colors play together, I don't really care. I think it'll dry okay in the end. I think it will be fine. So I'm just going to get started and tell you some colors as I go. The titanium white base coat, I'll put just a drop of titanium white down to get started. That's not in the center. A tiny bit of Mars black. Um, and then a tiny bit of silver. I've already got a little bit of a spray over here. A tiny bit of silver. And a tiny bit of gold. And I know those colors are okay. I didn't level this canvas. It's very flimsy. So this is just a test to see how this comes out. I'm sure once it dries it will be perfectly fine. Um, I want to start with... I wanted to not start with green against that gold, but I want a gold on there. So let's put a little bit more silver. And I want to start with some light green permanent. And then a little bit of silver. And some um, brilliant purple. And a little bit more silver. And then some cadmium orange. And then I want to do another layer. So we'll go gold. And just a tiny touch of black next to that gold. Black can take over, black can be very heavy, so I don't want a ton. And then just another tiny touch of white. And then some more silver. And then the light green permanent. Maybe a little bit more this time. We can see that I'm on level this way, so I keep trying to put my paint that way. A little bit more silver. Some brilliant purple. A little bit more silver. And lastly, some more cadmium orange. And I'll put a touch of white on top of that. And then another drop of black. And another drop of silver. And another drop of gold. And then what I want to do is... Um, Maybe just ever so slightly a tiny bit of black around, like very tiny, tiny, and then some silver, and then lastly, some white, and that will be it. I'll move all this stuff out of the way and I'll be back with my hair dryer. 
and just see what happens. I'm just always curious to experiment and see what happens. After we see what happens, I'll tell you, I have some things to tell you at the end after we see how this turns out. Maybe try to tilt it that way. I keep putting all the paint there and it keeps coming this way. Let me pull the, I didn't use screws this time, I used push pins. Let me pull the push pins out on this end just a little bit. If I can, from underneath. I don't know if that helped. Hold on. Let's check for any bubbles first. And I do see a hair. Let me find, I do have, um, I have tweezers somewhere, but since I've been taking my things downstairs to paint a lot lately, all of my art supplies have gotten mixed up in the upstairs and downstairs shuffle. So we'll use a skewer. Okay, um, then I dropped it down. Okay, tilt that way again. Maybe give me just a second to try to pull these push pins out on this end a little bit. I can't get a hold of them to pull them out, so it's just going to be that way. Okay, I'll be back in a second with the hair dryer and we'll see what these colors do together. Okay, I'll wait one second for that to kind of spill back out a little bit before I blow it over the edges. Okay, I always misjudge the amount of paint that I have. Either I have way too much or not enough. I could have used a little bit more paint to get all of my sides the way that I like. I got a lot of them. There's just a little bit of bare space on the sides. But I wouldn't have overblown it in some spots if I'd had a little bit more paint. But I was trying not to use too much this time. I mean, I could take my fingers and technically smear up the sides but I think I'll just leave it alone this time since this is just a test to see what these colors would do okay I'll sit down and I will torch and see what else comes up I like it um it does look very brown from I do get some brown from the orange with I'm not sure if it's with the orange and the black or the orange and the green but it's okay I don't have a lot of the purple showing up I think I need to try this again and put more colors and less of the metallics. More of the orange, green, and purple and less of the metallics. I've had these colors in mind for some reason ever since last Halloween because the brilliant purple and the light green permanent kind of remind me of some kind of Halloween themed decorations. Like sometimes they have purple and green like that. And then orange is always a Halloween color to me. Orange and black are always Halloween colors. And then I just like metallics for separating the colors.
Okay, so that's not bad at all. You can see I got cells because there was coconut milk hair serum in some of the paints. I think maybe in the Brilliant Purple. I don't know if anything else had that or not. I kind of like it, and once it dries, you won't notice that that canvas was flimsy or unlevel. So once it dries, it'll be fine. I kind of wish I'd gotten all of my sides. Part of me wants to dip my fingers in because there are just a few spots here and there that aren't covered. Part of me wants to do that and fix those edges that bother me. But I can always notice whenever I do that and that sometimes bothers me more than just the white spaces. And a lot of people just leave the white spaces so I'm just going to leave it. I'll torch again. Turn my torch down just a little bit. I can see a lot, now that it is sitting and kind of settling, I can see a lot of that silver. And there's a lot of either gray from the black and white or the silver, which that's kind of cool too. And I can see some of the gold. Maybe the gold mixed in with the orange and made some brown, I'm not sure. But it looks kind of cool whenever I just kind of look at it and let it develop. It's very fall themed in my mind. And I've wanted to do these colors since last fall. So I'll definitely try these colors again and I'll try this again. Maybe not with the gold. I think maybe just the silver with next to like the colors. Maybe um, I do like the definition that a little bit of the black added. I'll take you down for a close-up in a minute and let me know in the comments below if you think I should go around and touch up the little white spaces on the sides or if I should leave them alone because I always have trouble deciding whether or not to touch those up. Let me know what you think and I told you I'd tell you some stuff about I'd tell you some stuff at the end of this I almost forgot. I um I'm going on a trip, leaving Friday, July 3rd, and returning home either Friday, July 10th, or Saturday, July 11th. I think those are the dates. Um, we're leaving on the 3rd and leaving for a week, and we will be coming back either Friday or Saturday. My mom and I are taking my youngest niece to a condo in the mountains in Virginia. For a week, we like to take her somewhere every summer. Uh, since she's still in high school, we try to take her somewhere before school starts back up. And we're not going to be going out a whole lot. We're just going to stay mostly in the condo. Um, we do all have masks, so don't worry about that. I'm not super fond of the idea of traveling yet, but it is the only week that she has available right now. So we're going to go. Um... I don't know what your viewpoint is, I'm not trying to make this controversial, but I'm just telling you that I will be gone for a week. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to make a set of coasters, um, little 4x4 four four inch ceramic tiles. I'm going to paint four coasters with three color, three or four or five colors. I haven't quite decided yet, but I will record them as four separate videos. They'll be very short, probably about, I'm guessing, five to ten minutes each. Maybe a little bit longer, I don't know. It may get boring, but those are going to be my two videos for next week on Tuesday and Thursday, and my two videos for the following week on Tuesday and Thursday. They'll be the same colors on coasters, and... It might get boring with them being back to back, but I may layer the colors in the cup differently or something. I may do different techniques. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna how I'm gonna do it, but I just wanted a way to record four quick videos before I leave so that I have two videos to publish next week on Tuesday and Thursday, and two videos to publish on Tuesday and Thursday the week after I come back. Because after I travel, I'm always very, very, very exhausted and I don't feel like doing anything. That's part of my connective tissue disease, chronic fatigue, and traumatic brain injury symptoms all rolled into one. And 
I just think that it's best to go ahead and plan for the week that I'm gone and the week that I come back so that I don't feel pressured or stressed because I'm missing videos. So I should go ahead and get those recorded for you tomorrow and upload those over the next couple of weeks. So you shouldn't be missing my fluid art videos while I'm gone. And as I've talked, I've sat here and watched this develop a little bit. I think it looks pretty neat. I'm going to torch one more time. And then I will take you down for a close-up. And that will be it. I am going to record my weekly oracle card reading video for Wednesday very soon and I can record my weekly oracle card reading video while I'm gone next Wednesday and the Wednesday that I come back. I can do those just fine. I will be recording the monthly oracle card reading video before I go. I think. If not, I'll record it one of the first days that I'm gone. It won't be the exact first of the month, but it will be up soon. I, I do still intend to get that video up. And that's all for this one. So thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested. And have a blessed day. Bye. Okay guys, as always, I will do the close-up from my side of the table. And right here is one of the spots that's not covered. I think as the paint drips, it may finish covering that spot. Um, that corner surprisingly is covered. That corner is not. Part of me wants to take my fingers and drag the paint to cover that corner. But part of me is afraid that it will make it look worse. Those are a couple of spots. Um, there's a corner not covered. And that corner is not covered. Those bug the jeebies out of me. I don't know what to call it. Those bug the crap out of me. Um, but whenever I do like take drips or take my fingers and cover that stuff, it's always very noticeable to me and doesn't blend in with the rest of the design. So I don't know whether I should cover it or just leave them white. So let me know in the comments below what you would prefer if you were to purchase a painting. Do you want all of those spots covered even if it's noticeable or would you rather them be white? and just be part of the design. Sorry, I just bit my tongue in that. Would you rather them be covered and all be covered and be noticeable, or would you rather it just be white and left as part of the design? I'm not, I'm trying to see what this looks like. I don't know, maybe it goes, hold on. Maybe it goes this way. I can't decide. I don't know. As I walk away and come back later, I'll decide. It kind of looks cool like that too. I'm going to zoom in and show you some of the little details up close, like I always do. So you can try to see, so I can try to show you some of the shimmer, you can see some of the cells, and just have a better look at it. That's where the brilliant purple is probably the most prominent. I lost a lot of the brilliant purple. Maybe I didn't use as much of it as something else, or maybe it's because it had the coconut milk hair serum, so it separated more than the other colors. There's a big patch of orange. And then there's a little bit of the green. This here looks kind of brown, but I'm not sure if it's the orange next to some of the colors or if it's like the gold mixing in with something. I'll know better when it dries, probably. I like that cell right there that has all of the colors in it together. And that's it for this one. So thanks as always for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye. Let me go in a little bit closer just so you can see. Sorry, I said bye, but let me just let you see a little bit of this design like all up close. This is like the design in the painting to me.
Looks like some kind of a bird or a creature or something. Kind of looks like a bird sitting on a tree. In my view. In my mind. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you see. This looks like some other kind of little creature. I don't know. Let me know what you see. Let me know what you think. And I will get you some videos the next couple of weeks. They might be a little bit boring, but I'm going to do coasters so that I can record four quick videos tomorrow without my phone filling up on the between videos. So that's it. Bye.